Hi everyone and all you maniacs out there, welcome back to another episode of ML Plays FIFA 15. Today it's Hartley Paul versus Crystal Palace and we are three games now without a win. We lost to Hull City in the Capital the One Cup, we lost 2-1 to Sunderland Chelsea. and we lost 2-1 to Swansea right in the last couple of minutes of the game and now we are sitting 14th in the league. So today we are away at Crystal Palace and we do need to pick up some points today really, otherwise we could be slipping further and further down the league. Hartlepool are playing in the blue and white stripes, Crystal Palace are playing in the red and blue stripes. We're going off to Crystal Palace to Sellers Park. We're playing on four minutes and a half on professional difficulty and Welcome we're controlling the whole team. I'll apologise now that my voice is a little bit croaky. I'm kind of suffering with the flu, but I've got to carry on making all these videos for you guys so that you get your daily FIFA fix. Anyway, as you can see, we are in 15th place now, sorry, and Crystal Palace are 14th. We are only three points off the relegation Either places Tyler, we really do Alan need Smith, to pull something out of the bag the and start Premier getting a few you. wins yeah, under our belt otherwise we are going to be in a relegation battle and seeing if we can uh, stay in the premiership Hard that is United. the main focus for, for this campaign this season is to stay up in the uh, premiership the, the thing is we are kind of having a bit of a problem with our strikers none of them can seem to score and both of them seem to want to be out of Hartlepool they've both put in transfer requests I can tell you now that Alessandra's has been completely turned down but um, Lee they are still considering selling that guy anyway there's a Crystal Palace lineup I'm not sure who the Crystal Palace team are so I'll just refer to them as Crystal Palace player Crystal Palace striker Crystal Palace midfielder etc etc I'll try and comment on the Hartley Paul we've got Barber in goal today with Duckworth, Nerney, Bates and Kim at the back Emma Walker, Woods and Compton in the middle Lee and Alessandra at the front. We've got Barber back in goal. He's coming Possibly. back in instead of Halstead, who seems to have um, uh, been the scapegoat, himself. really, for Here us losing is. the last three yeah, games. Well, I, think I don't think that's the case. Know. I just think Whether it's just we've been un un the un like unable to score be goals. Be that's the only problem that has uh, really been happening with us. Yes, we have let in two goals, but some of them, I mean, are in the last couple of minutes of the game. And that was just so unfortunate. I mean, the overhead kick that was scored by Swansea was an absolute blinder. If you haven't seen that, you want to go and watch that match. Anyway, the referee's blowing the whistle for today. Hartlepool first kicking first off from right to left. Underway. Sorry, Hartlepool kicking from right to left. Crystal Palace kicking off. And they're going from left to right. And away they go. Crystal Palace Goal in board. control of the ball straight away. Passing it around Whatever. in the middle of the park. You got Woods coming in with a lovely tackle on the Crystal Palace player there. Doesn't manage to keep hold of the ball though. But now Walker gets it. He knocks it forwards towards Lee. Lee looks up. He's going on a bit of a run. Sliding tackle by the Crystal Palace midfielder. Takes it off him. Woods though comes in. Sticks his foot round with a conservative tackle. Takes the ball back and knocks it out wide to Compton. Compton now going for a run down the wing. A player gets in his way of Crystal Palace. And there's a bit of argy-bargy there. And Compton goes down. And uh, it's a free kick to Hartlepool. Kim Chi Woo going to take the free kick. This movement in the area, on the edge of the area. Referee telling the wall to not keep moving. It needs to stay back. Otherwise, he'll start dishing out cards. Kim Chi Woo. Now looking for a player to put it onto the head of. He plays it right into the box. That's it's a little bit too far kick. in front of Woods and a little bit too Sliding far in front of Walker as well. It's a good Unfortunately for them, again they don't manage to get to it and it's gone out for a goal kick. There's another look at the sliding tackle that just happened a few seconds ago. Beautiful sliding tackle there, taking the ball and dispossessing the Hartlepool player. Anyway, the ball kicked long up the field by the Crystal Palace goalkeeper, headed on Williams. by the midfielder, and now they're going on the attack. The attack Crystal here. Palace with a lovely bit of attack in there. Gets taken off him by Nerney, who's now come back into the, uh, the team on a regular basis by the looks of it. Duckworth there with a beautiful tackle, putting the ball out into touch for a throw-in. 
the ball is thrown in by Crystal Palace and now they're trying to look forward for people to put it onto the head of him. Fortunately, he doesn't manage to do it and Duckworth has got the ball and he's going on a run. He tries to pass the ball across to uh, Lee who was running down with him but he didn't manage to get it through and a lovely bit of blocking by the Crystal Palace player. Unfortunately, when he played the ball forward that time, it went out for a goal kick. I thought it was gone for a corner, but no, it, referees wave goal kick, and away we go with the goal kick. He kicks it long up the field again. Headed back by uh, War Woods, that was there, uh, sorry, not Walker. God, it's so confusing with them two in the middle with the W in the name. Right, here's Walker now to take the free kick that the referee saw something wrong with there. I think there was a bit of shoving in the back. As, uh, as the ball come over to them. Nerny now to take the free kick. Plays it short up to Walker. Walker turns, knocks it towards Kim Ji Woo. Kim Ji Woo with the shot. Miles wide though. That's why he's a defender and not a striker. He had plenty of time there to turn it and probably pass it to one of the strikers. Bit of a waste of an effort there really, to be honest with you. But at least it's a shot. It counts at the end of the day as a shot. But uh, unfortunately, a bit of a waste as well. The ball kicked back into play by the Crystal Palace goalkeeper. And the Crystal yeah, Palace players now playing with the ball in the middle of the pitch. Lovely tackle by Duckworth, giving the Here's ball the to Emmau, who knocks it to Alessandra. Alessandra now going one-on-one -on -one with the Crystal Palace defender. Loses out straight He's away. And now the, the Crystal Palace midfield has taken it around the Hartlepool players beautifully. And this is a good bit of play by Here's Crystal Lee. Palace. Cuts Here's inside the in the penalty area. Cross it over for Edda. Can he get the shot off? He does, but he goes into the goal. And there it is. It's 1-0 to Crystal Palace. What a goal that was. I thought it had gone into the side netting at first. But no. The referee's given a goal and Walker looks absolutely destroyed. That's a beautiful cross over by the, uh, by the winger who put it over straight towards the, uh, the midfielders, nodded it on and put it out further towards the striker who hits it and it just goes straight in the goal, straight past the keeper and won an absolute beauty of a goal. Very short angle as well to score from that was. Uh, Dero Moreno who scored his fourth goal in the Barclays Premiership this season and it's currently Crystal Palace 1, Hartlepool 0. Will Hartlepool be able to get back into this game? Another loss would not be beneficial to them in the slightest. We can't go four games in a row losing because that means that we could be dropping right down into the bottom three and that is not good. We. Uh, our main goal is to stay in the Premiership this league. I know I keep saying it, but that is what we are trying to do. And it's a bit difficult when the players are now wanting to leave. Hopefully, though, we'll be able to pick up some decent players who are the, uh, the sort of skill level for the Premiership. I mean, our team is made up of uh, 65s and 70s, really. Um, and there's some 50s in there and that's a beauty of a goal there what a goal crossed over perfectly Lee in the middle of the area just gets a free header on it Crystal Palace are now back level with Hartlepool what a goal that was I was there complaining about the way that Hartlepool were playing lately but what a beautiful cross by Kim Chi Woo puts it straight perfectly onto the head of Lee who then headers it straight past the keeper that's his third goal this season in the Barclays Premiership and that surely has to bring up the morale of the Hartlepool players at the moment morale is at an all-time low because of the three losses in a row can we get something from this game though we really do need to pull something out of the bag against Crystal Palace they're down in the bottom three with us uh, sorry, they're down in the bottom Stop few the with us. We should situation. be able to beat Not these. And it's Alessandra with a beautiful strike. And within two minutes, we are now in the lead. It's 2-1. What a goal. A Alessandra gets the ball, exactly goes round the defender, looks at there. the keeper and just smashes oh, it home. He even goal. points to where he's putting it. And the keeper dives that way. Alessandra a little bit cheeky with that as a strike. And what a goal that was absolute beauty there we go that is a goal and a half 
and we are now 2-1 to the good will we be able to keep hold of this lead this is where Hartlepool now begin to struggle once they go into the lead. Will they be able to salvage the three points from this match? What a brilliant time to score, though. Just ten minutes, just before half-time. Will we be able to keep it like this, or will we be going on a complete goal route now and scoring even more? That's a beautiful ball back to Walker from Compton. And Walker shooting for distance, and that only just fizz past the post. What a strike by Walker. Let's have another look at that. Keeper dies, full length save. Doesn't manage to do it. Even the, even the people on the bench are amazed by that, to be honest with you. What an absolute beauty of a strike from Walker. Unfortunately, it wasn't on target. And it looks like the morale of Hartlepool is now going into the plus figures. What a brilliant bit of play we've been having for the last couple of seconds. And now Hartlepool coming out, absolutely dominating Crystal Palace. It's Compton there having a shot at goal. He headers it back over towards the middle, but it gets picked up by the keeper. Kicked up long by the keeper up the field. The Crystal Palace midfielder gets control of it, knocks it forwards to the striker. 44 minutes played, Hartlepool 2, Crystal Palace 1. Will we be able to keep hold of this lead for the second half or will Crystal Palace equalise? We do need to get the three points from this game. Throw in here to Crystal Palace, throws it into the penalty area, headed back to the defender, tries to clear it but doesn't manage to do so. Crystal Palace have the ball on the edge of the area. It's cleared away though there by uh, Alessandra who's come back to help with the defending and he cleared it as far as Lee, but now Crystal Palace have got the ball back, they're on the edge of the area, trying to kick it back forward, Compton now gets the ball, plays it forward, what a brilliant first half of football, Hartlepool really looked like the stronger team towards the end of that half, first half they were a bit dodgy in the first part of that half, went up until the goal, but then when they scored two within two minutes of each other, what an absolute beautiful way of getting the lead in this game. I'm sure that Alan Pardew will have words to say to his Crystal Palace team at half-time. And uh, I'm sure the Hartlepool manager will also be having words with his team about trying to make sure that they keep hold of this lead. Anyway, the second half has kicked off and Hartlepool now kicking from left to right. A long ball forward there towards Lee. Gets headed though by the defender. Doesn't manage to keep hold of it. Knocks it forward now. The Crystal Palace players are on the on the uh, counter attack. The striker cuts inside. He goes and that's a go at goal. Beautiful save there by Barber. Stops the ball from going in. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to keep a clean sheet on his first game back in this between the sticks today. But uh, he hasn't done too bad so far, considering a couple of seasons ago he was absolute horseshit. Um, but now he seems to have started playing a lot better. And as you can see, Newcastle there leading West Brom 1-0. We have got to play West Brom in a couple of games, so we're, you'll have to stay tuned for that one. Let's hope that we can get the win there as well against the Baggies. That would be absolutely brilliant. Anyway, nodded forward there by Alessandra. A bit too hard and wasn't being able to be kept in. And unfortunately, it went out for a throw-in. Here's a uh, substitution. It's Jednak coming off. And there's also Lee coming off and making way for Ross for Hartlepool. Pretty solid today. I didn't see who it was who was coming on for Crystal Palace. There's Ross coming on. He's been warming up over since half time and uh, he's coming on to see if he can make a change to this game. So it's O'Keefe who's come on and Jednak who's gone off. And now Crystal Palace are in control the of the ball team. once more. Played forward to the striker, goes through past the midfielders. Oh, and now they're running their shooting from oh, long range. We should, we and it's just that. not working at the minute. That not was high, easy. wide and absolutely shocking. Now we're going to make another substitution. Brad Walker making way for Connor Smith today. Connor Smith who has scored goals in this Premiership League so far this season. Um, He's, he hasn't done too bad since joining the Hartlepool team. He's really uh, hit the ground running and basically fitted in in the middle. He really does play his heart out and he plays pretty much the same as Woods and Walker. They're very good when they play together in the centre and not very many people get past them 
in the middle. The main problem that we seem to be having with Hartlepool lately is the defence, really. The, when they're defending, they just can't seem to keep goal side of the... Uh, of the attackers and that's where we seem to be falling over all of the time and since losing Darren Holden we've been having a bit of a problem there but uh, that shot there by Moreno again just fizzing over the top of the bar absolute beauty of a strike we're lucky to not be level again with Crystal Palace anyway Barber's got the got, got the ball and it's gone for a goal kick so he's telling everybody to go back up the field he kicks it long up to the centre, headed on Here's by me. Alessandro, gets tackled though by the Crystal Palace midfielder, cuts inside, they're trying to score a goal, they've been told at half time what to do and how to get past these midfielders and defenders by the look of it, and now they're doing all they can to try and put the ball in the net, they also want to get three points from this game, they don't want to be fighting a relegation battle just as much as Hartlepool. This game means so much to both of these clubs and the winner from this could really benefit from it and go up the league quite a few places if, uh, as long as the people above them lose as well. But uh, there's a couple of people who have got a few games in hand who are above us at the moment and uh, that could be a problem come the end of the season but we'll have to wait for that and see what happens. Hopefully by, that hap by the time that happens we'll have enough points to be safe towards the middle or the top half of the table. Let's hope that we're not stuck in the bottom three come the end of the season. Anyway, there's another substitution there. Ledley going off and Gurdjieff going on. I'm not sure if I pronounce that correctly, but that's what I'll say. There's Deiro Moreno again having another shot at goal. There's the one that just fizzed over the post. But uh, the one that he just had as well just went over the top of the bar. He's been playing pretty well today, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, Barra kicks the ball long up the field. It's headed on. Unfortunately, headed on a little bit too far for Ross to get to. But the Crystal Palace defender picks it up. And now Emmao goes in, takes the ball off the winger. Can he cut inside? He tries to cut inside past the two defenders. Doesn't manage to do so. Gets tackled and the ball's played long back into the Hartlepool half. It seems that the Hartlepool players have kind of turned off for a little while on, uh, on this game. They've come out being a different team to what they finished in this first half. And let's hope that they're not sitting back on the laurels and hoping that they're going to just get this 2-1 win. Because from now on, it seems that Crystal Palace have noticed that they can get away with playing the long ball into the penalty area. And that is a problem for Hartlepool. They always seem to struggle when the long balls come over. Anyway, now we're going to make another substitution. It's Jonathan Franks coming on and Emmao making way for him. And he's getting a round of applause as he goes off today. And uh, Jonathan Franks getting a round of applause as he comes on. So, it's Barber with the ball. Plays it long up the field once more. Tries to get the head onto it. It's headed back by the Crystal Palace midfielder. Long range shot there. Don't know what he was trying to do. That was a bit adventurous. And uh, to be scoring from that sort of distance is something that you do. If the goal is off much, his Alan. line, he must have seen that the keeper wasn't on his line and thought, right, I'll have a go at that. But he didn't manage to score anything because Barber was all over it. Anyway, Crystal Palace now on the attack and they've just got into the penalty area and there's a header and goal and it's just gone wide and over again. Crystal Palace just having the same sort of look that Hartlepool have been having in the past couple of games. They just aren't able to put the ball in the net at the moment. Crystal Palace making their final substitution of the day. It's 85 minutes played. It's still Hartlepool 2, Crystal Palace 1. Williams going off for Crystal Palace. And uh, it's Gale coming on for Crystal Palace. Barber now kicks the ball long again up the field. They really need to just keep hold of the ball now for this last four minutes. See if they can just see see out this game, get the three points and the win, which is what they really desperately do need at the moment. At least we're not going to be uh, losing goal difference today. Anyway, the ball played long up by the, up to the Crystal Palace player. Woods there losing out to the ball, but he collects it back. And now he's going on a run. He's gone straight past the one midfielder. He tries to get the crossover. That was surely handball. Everybody on the Hartlepool team shouts for handball. Referee waves play on. 
Long ball into the box. Picked up by Barber. It's going nowhere. He kicks the ball long up the field. 90 minutes has been played. We've got five minutes of added time left to go. Lovely little through ball there towards Alessandra. Unfortunately, gets picked off him by the defender. And there's the final whistle. It's finished here. Finally, Hartley Ball get another win under their belt. And they've won 2 1 against Crystal Palace. The fans in the stands are really happy. Moreno absolutely gutted, even though he got on the score sheet today. He just didn't manage to put the ball in the net as often as he would have liked. He played an absolute blinder today. I'll be surprised if he doesn't get the man of the match. Alessandra, the man who scored one of the goals there, and also Lee, who scored the other. Here's the highlights of the game. You'll be able to see some of these goals. Here's a sliding tackle. Absolutely beautifully, perfectly timed sliding tackle there by the Crystal Palace player. And here's the first goal. He cuts it inside, headed on by the other striker, and just gets it round the back of Barber and smashes it straight into the goal and here's a goal and a half Kim Chi Woo to a T straight on to the end of Lee's head and it goes straight past the keeper into the goal here's Alessandra two minutes later oh, runs down points smashes it straight past the keeper that puts it to 2-1 to Hartley Paul and you can see what that means to the players on the bench and you can also see what it means to Alessandra as that's his first goal this season in the Premiership so let's hope that that's the first now of many more, which is what normally happens when he scores a goal. He goes on these goal droughts for a little while and then next thing you know, he's banging them in left, right and centre. Let's hope that that's how he's going to continue now for the rest of the season. That was a shot by Belassi over the top of the bar, unfortunately for him, and it finished here. Hartley Pool 2, Crystal Palace 1. Match rating of 6.4 for N Mao. Let's see who got the man of the match. It was Jonathan Williams who got man of the match with a seven. Anyway, here's the scores from around the grounds. Read them out, big man. Tottenham Hotspur, two. Crystal Palace, one. Hartlepool United, two. Everton, one. Hull City, one. Manchester City, three. Aston Villa, nil. Queen's Park Rangers, Another good result two. there for Chelsea, Chelsea to go three. probably above Spurs one. with that win. United, I think that will keep three. them at top of the West league. Albion, Manchester one. United Newcastle now United, should be one. somewhere up in them top and three or four as well. Here's the scores. Man table. United a third, at Chelsea the the top, table, Arsenal second, Spurs fourth. Hartlepool move up two spaces second, into 12th, played eight, won three, drawn one, lost four. Goals for six, goals against eight. Goal difference of minus two, we're on ten points. Another win could take us up to fifth points. if we win the next in game of the season the which is against Manchester Southampton thank you very much for watching this one I hope to see you on the game against Southampton in the next game till then take care thanks for watching and bye for now points in eighth and falling are Hull City with 12 points bottom of the table Norwich City with no points and then reading up the table second bottom moving down are West Ham United with four points Third bottom, climbing the table, are Everton with four points. Fourth bottom, Queen's Park Rangers with five points. Fifth bottom, Newcastle United with six points. Anyway, big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions, as is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also... Come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.